Hello and welcome to the emergency exit. Today we're going to open up the Wizarding Trunks, the Owlery, a every other month subscription box that you can purchase online. Here is the box. Yes, this is not sponsored by, we'll leave a link down in the description below. So let's go ahead and open these up. Defendo! Ooh, okay, there's already some goodies. So they start off here. Oh, by the way, this one's theme is Wizarding Shops. They give you the spy spectacles from Widershins Joke Shop. I don't remember that ever in the series, but I'm sure there's something in Pottermore. Reveal Invisible Magical Pest. Where we know these from, which they do give you a pair here. What we do know these from is Luna Lovegood. This is how she finds the Nargles in Harry's head. But I think, just to be fitting, these should be worn throughout the video. That was the first one, right there on top. So we're already off to a great start here. Fun little little Easter eggs. Okay, so the next one here I see. Ooh, jumping jelly beans. So these obviously are not. Ooh, they're a little. They have some sawdust on them a little bit, but uh, these are obviously not Birdie Bot's every favorite beans. They're just called jumping jelly beans. Um, they look like they're obviously edible here they do have nutrition facts let's try one of these here the, weirdly enough the flap is in the front which i've never seen uh there's definitely not as many as you is what it looks like literally half of it is filled up with cardboard but that's okay so let's try a nice little orange one it's orange i'm not a big jelly bean fan anyway this wizarding shop is ballywicks again i don't know any of these so I'm usually pretty well versed, so I don't know if it's supposed to be Hogsmeade or where they come up with this, but it's in there. Hopefully we'll get some that we know. Okay, so this is just a, a brown box. Oh, uh, okay. I think I know what this is. Yes. The company's beautifully bewitched. Um, and it says Amar Eternium, which are Eternum. But it's a love potion here. Beauty and love potions is what they do. What you see here a lot with their trunk, this is my second one with them, where they have some bottle. What we see is they always do some rope and then a little, you know, wax stamp on top. This one has a little heart. It's nice and pretty. Just another random box. Ooh, there's some papers. Usually they have the papers on top, so you kind of know what you're getting. I'm kind of okay with this because I didn't want to know. So... It's all a guess for all of us, okay. So, it's a stack of cauldrons. It does not have any label on it like the other ones. It's a little sticky here at the bottom, but it's cute. You know, nice little desk ornament. Next one. It's really like Christmas in here. Ooh, I'm gonna guess this is a soap dispenser since it came with a handle. Oh, this is nice though. So it looks like an apothecary bottle, as you see here, and it even says on it, pure blood apothecary. That's a little scary, but that's okay. All purpose magical mess remover, hand soap. Obviously that's really what it is for humans. By that I mean muggles. At least two more left, maybe three or four. So this is the Bestiarium's Rat Tonic. Ingredients are alloy, vitamin E, and orange blossom oil, a product of alchemy for the skin. I'm guessing that's the real company there for use on minor rashes, cuts, and abrasions. So just a little ointment here for you if you want to use it, but definitely wizarding themed. So one thing they do on all these boxes here, or I, I don't know how long they've been doing it. I don't think it's been forever, but definitely within the last, I think, year, what they do is they give you covers for certain Harry Potter books. Um, they're not mentioned here which one they're for so you have to always look it up online but essentially you can replace and they do all of them so you have the original seven obviously you also have the fantastic beasts scripts to books you also get the cursed child as well so i like that they always have these like little gold foils this is dwelling with the dragons i remember this in the books i don't remember who was supposed to be the author but i swear i remember one of these i think it might be lockhart to be honest with you I think it throws me off here um, because they have a, a gentleman on here, as you can kind of see, with his little sh smile, but it's not 
uh, the actor who plays Gilderoy in the movie. And it says here on the back, everyone's favorite wizard extraordinaire is back yet again to enchant and dazzle us with his latest account of heroic adventures alongside the most dangerous creatures on earth. It's gotta be Lockhart. Quote unquote, an instant bewitching bestseller by Warlock Talk and a spellbinding triumph by the Enchanter. I'll have to look it up and see who, what book this is for. My guess if it's for, if it's not for anything new like Fantastic Beast, this looks like size wise, probably Goblet of Fire. Okay, let me cut me off right there. Uh, actually, I was wrong. <laughs> it is for the Quidditch to the Aided. So it actually worked with the wizarding books inside the wizarding world as well. So let's return to the video. Next one. Ooh, I see a little bit. I see a corner. Ooh, this is nice. Okay, I'm going to take it out of the packaging here because I will definitely want to use this. Okay, so obviously it's a little journal. Um, I don't think anything's written in there. No, it has even a little bookmark for you is nice um but it says here the scriptorium uh is the scriptorium quality quills impeccable inks again these are not ones i know but at the same time i don't know if they actually exist or if they're just made up here which is perfectly fine either way they sound like they exist in the world um but you got nice little patterns on the back they're really cool to be honest with you um some yeah they look like like gaelic patterns you know makes sense you know hogwarts is in scotland officially Ooh, hey, this is cool this is something i know they do from other people i've seen um i think they give you keys this one i'm assuming yes it is a gringotts key um i figured from the giant g on it but you can really tell here because it says vault 688. I don't know if they're unique to each individual people. I'll read the, the, there's a card here at the end, so I will definitely read that. But these are really cool. Um, they're nice and hefty metal. Um, again, nice display piece. Okay, oh, one more. I got one more actual piece. There might be some artwork, but one more actual piece. So I don't know what this is supposed to be. M, scissors M, and it says wizarding wizard wears. Oh, maybe it's um, Madame Malkins. That's it. Okay. That makes sense. Now that I think about it. It's Madame Malkins. So it's the robe shop in Harry Potter. But I love little pins. I have a whole collection of them. Um, actually right there. That you should be able to see. I don't know. <laughs> I'm going to get this to fit in the box because that's pretty full. So I may have to start getting another one for these. For these. But this is really cool. Really pretty. Oh, we have some artwork. So let's see. Let's grab the rest of the papers. Here. I think that's it besides the papers. So we got magical pets, a little postcard here. Here you have, it looks like just a cat. I don't think it's a measel or canizel, whatever you guys want to call it. But you got a frog, a cat, a, a rat, a hippogriff, looks like a dragon tail and then a snowy owl. Yeah, no, those look really cool. I like, I like the look of this. Um, it is kind of funny here though. It does say at the bottom, it says hippogriffs are not indoor pets. The next one here is just some, oh, it's some pretty artwork. Okay. Um, I don't know where this would be. Um, I was going to say this was going to be in Diagon Alley, but I don't know these any anywhere in there. I saw clean sweeps here, but I was just thinking of brooms, but I don't think there's a clean sleep sweeps shop. It is still pretty cool. You have the clean sweep shop. You have floral and granum, as well as the bestiarium, which does have a thing that says owls, cats and rats and then you also have a little sign that says wands this way obviously brooms back towards clean sweeps but it's still really cool a fun little image um with a little owl on top it, it, it's really well done i'm not gonna read all this but it says flesh eating slug you know if you want you can pause the video here i will hold that up um and you also have familiars is equals quality wands which again we have Ollivanders here, so it's interesting. On the back here, it says, exceptional wands with only the finest woods and superior cores. It shows you different types of wands. I mean, it's kind of cool. It gives you length, you know, it, it just tells you different wands. So what's interesting here is they have cores that I'm not used to. So you have gold thread, hippogriff feather, lavender core, onyx shard, pixie wing, crow feather, forget-me-not, snapdragon, hagswort, 
werewolf hair, dragon scale, sage, other wand makers use different types of wand cores, what they think is more fit. What we got in the box, magical shops. Oh, that's kind of cool. I don't know if that looks normally. So with the glasses on, it's not like a real 3D effect, but it looks a little shiny up top, that the magical shop sign. So what we got again is the Dwelling with Dragons book cover. Um, again, even in here, they don't mention that it's Lockhart, but that's okay. We got your Gringotts Valky. And as I think about it, they don't probably mention most, any of the names when you think about it, uh, any real names because of legal reasons. I didn't think about that at first, but since they're not partnered officially with, um, the wizarding world a uh, stack of vintage cauldrons so that's these guys um flesh eating slugs and familiar's creature page the rat tonic the jumping jelly beans uh the scriptorium journal um these little spy specters magical pet store postcard which we saw magical mess remover the soap the magical shop storefront the love potion the wand shop catalog and then the shop pin from madame malkins if you're interested i say go ahead and pick them up they're fun. I said get one every two months and they're really enjoyable. And, you know, for the price, they're actually not bad. I think uh, if I remember correctly, they're about $55, but there is shipping separately. I think mine is between $10 and $12. Um, maybe that might be shipping and tax. I think I pay about $67 for it all. Like and comment down below. <laughs> this has been the emergency exit reviewing the Wizarding Trunk. So, Knox.